the warmer the nights, the faster the bugs go through their life cycle, which means we need to be more on top of our bug patrol to keep our gardens free of pests. So with just a little bit of knowledge, you can get after those pesky bugs and keep your garden totally organic. So one of the best things about summer is corn on the cob, unless the cob is full of corn earworms. So today I'd like to share with you how to control the corn earworms naturally. So the corn earworm is the main pest that messes up our delicious sweet corn. So the moth flies around the garden and lays its eggs on the host plant, the corn. And then the larvae hatches out and starts to eat the corn plant. First the corn earworm will eat holes in the leaves as they are unfolding. And next they will eat the silks and this will keep the kernels from getting pollinated. And last, the worm will bore into the ears and will eat the kernels right down the middle. So if you want a crop of corn, you will need to control this worm. And corn earworms, they have four stages. They have egg, larvae, the pupa, which is the cocoon, and then the moth. So the corn earworm, it's, it's just a little moth that's about an inch and a half long and it's grayish in color with a few spots in the wings. So I like to control this pest at the larval stage. And here's my four favorite ways to naturally control the corn earworms. Okay, number one is oil. So you can drop mineral olive or canola oil into the ears after the silks have turned brown. So this will suffocate the worms but will not affect the corn. Number two is BT, and we'll put the scientific name on the screen because I can't pronounce it. Um, this is a bacterial pathogen that is used for biological control over the larvae, and it's widely used by organic growers. BT can work if put on soon enough. Apply it once a week to the corn ears as soon as you see the first silks. It is not very effective once the earworm has entered the ear and it's safe for plants, animals, and humans. Number three is diatomaceous earth. So diatomaceous earth is ground up fossilized seashells. And diatomaceous earth will puncture soft body insects like the corn earworm and they'll dehydrate and die. Number four is Captain Jack's dead bug brew. So use Captain Jack's dead bug <coughs> brew once a week from the time you see the first silks until you <coughs> harvest. So the key here is timing. You need to get to the earworm before it does all the destruction. So watch for the silks, and once you see those, then you want to start applying BT, Captain Jack's, or diatomaceous earth. And then you need to wait for the silks to turn brown before applying the oils. With a few observation skills and some organic remedies, you can have worm-free corn to enjoy all summer long. You know, the observant gardener gets to eat more garden fresh vegetables. So if you'd like to learn other ways to control garden pests naturally, you can get our Homemade Pests and Control ebook. And you get the ebook for free when you sponsor the show. So we give it away with the Preserving Fruits and Vegetable Guide to anyone who sponsors the show at the $8.25 level. You know, and the money we raise from the sponsorship goes to keep the show free to everyone around the world. And I feel that everyone should have access to learn how to grow food to feed themselves and their families. And by sponsoring the show, you are a part of keeping this education free and feeding everyone around the world. And if you'd like to learn more about high performance gardening and gardening concepts that lead to success, go ahead and go to our website at thelivingfarm.org. There you'll find more articles, videos, and e-courses that can help you on your way to success. If you want to learn how to grow $2,500 worth of organic produce with only a 15 minute a day commitment, sign up for the High Performance Garden Show. There are hundreds of episodes chock full of my best gardening secrets that I have learned over the last three decades. Go to thelivingfarm.org slash high-performance-garden-show it's free and online. Also, if you want to join the premier online community of people who grow food, medicine, and build resilient communities, join us today at thegrownetwork.com. Thanks so much for watching. May your garden be easy, fun, productive, and always organic.